Kim and Kanye tie the knot. Justin Bieber spotted spending time with Gigi Hadid. And Demi Lovato makes Maxim Hot 100 list? We have got all of this and more on today's rundown. Welcome back to DHR. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Ersty coming at ya. Yeah. You guys, so we have a Turnt Up Tuesday special edition for you later in the show. But first, Misty is getting us all caught up on the Kim Kardashian and Kanye wedding details. They did it! <laughs> Kim and Kanye are officially married. Yeezus met his Keezus. So they had a multi-million dollar wedding in multiple countries. Mm -hmm. Do we expect anything less? No big deal. No, we don't. The world economy should be thanking Kim and Kanye. That's the truth. <laughs> I'm no joke. So let's start with the rehearsal dinner. It was Friday in France, of course, at the Palace of Versailles. We had told you it was going to be there. So Kim and Kanye wore these very simple and elegant and sleek, like sort of Indian-inspired matching outfits. I liked them. I did too. I thought they were super sexy. And apparently at the palace, rumor has it there was an orchestra, fireworks, like there was 18th century dressed servers giving people tours of the palace in like carriages, craziness. Like Hollywood royalty or something. No, it seemed so awesome. And yes, Lana Del Rey did perform at the rehearsal dinner. She did three songs, including Summertime Sadness. Mm, Very nice. I would have loved to be there for that. Yeah, totally. Surprise! Then on Saturday morning, Kim and Kanye surprised all of the guests and flew them from France to Florence, Italy for the actual wedding. And E! News has given us today the exclusive first official photos of Kim's Givenchy Haute Couture dress. And what are you thinking? I love it so much. I actually wasn't quite sure what direction that Kim would go because she's stepped out with some pretty questionable fashion choices and recently. And we have Kanye influence too. Exactly. So I was a little bit nervous, but I thought she looked so classy, yeah. so elegant, uh -huh. gorgeous. It was very traditional and a little bit more covered up than her second wedding. That was more of like a princess dress and this was definitely way more couture, but she looked beautiful. And I want to mention her hair. Yes. I loved her hair and the whole look just came together so beautifully. And in other photos, we can see them posing in front of this white rose wall. It just was so elegant and beautiful. And Kanye was also wearing Givenchy. She was. Just so you know. And little baby North apparently had a matching dress with mom and Chris Jenner walked north down the aisle. Bruce Jenner walked Kim down for a second time. So great. But this time Andrea Bocelli sang her down the aisle. Not too shabby. Gosh, hello. Yeah. I would just I want to be Kim Kardashian <laughs> right now. I never thought I'd say that. I know. Or one of her sisters. They also wore white, white. which I thought was interesting. They were bridesmaids. I love the color palette that all the guests were wearing black mm -hmm. and then that her and her wedding party were wearing white. I love very, that. very high fashion. Very. I feel like that was Kanye's idea. You think? Yeah, I do. Classy. I do. All right, let's talk about the reception. It's party time! It is! Yay! Kim changed into this short Balmain dress, which I thought was also beautiful. Mm -hmm. And there was only 200 guests, supposedly, only? at the wedding. That, I think, is actually a pretty good number for Kim. I was still expecting her to go, like, 600. Okay. So, I thought it was good. They had, like, this elegant four-course meal, this seven-tiered beautiful cake, and it was a huge dance party is what people are saying. They had their first dance to a mashup, a huge mashup. So, John Legend did All of Me. All he was there me. with Chrissy Teigen, of course. Yeah. And um, also, Kanye ended up rapping at part of the... I had a dance. feeling that was gonna happen. He did. And they also did like a mashup of Etta James and a lot of other songs. And there's also all this talk of Kanye giving this really emotional speech. Like 20 minutes long, right? Yeah. Supposedly Kanye said, quote, the Kardashian family is the most remarkable people of our time. Bold claim. I love that he said that. Well, it's his wedding. I feel like he's not gonna say anything different. Than yeah, that, right? you and think I think he believes it. I feel like he doesn't publicly talk about the Kardashians ever and how much the family means to him and how much they've done for him and vice versa. So I love that he, you know, showed them a lot of love. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. I really like that. Also, I was surprised that they had this like sort of cliche photo booth at their wedding. I love it. That's one thing I wish I had done at my wedding that I didn't do. So I love it. I feel like it's so cool to have your guests be able to commemorate your big day with moments with their loved ones. But this was so quirky. And yeah. all the pictures are funny and weird, which I was like, okay, this is nice. A little softer side of Kanye, maybe. Yeah, I love seeing him with personality. Uh -huh. I love uh -huh. that. Supposedly, Jaden Smith was there smooching Kylie Jenner throughout Hot. the night. And I think it's so weird that he was wearing this white Batman outfit. Yeah. As we saw in these photo booth pictures. What is up with that? 
I don't know. He's young. He has freedom. His parents let him do whatever he wants. So Did he really think that people wouldn't recognize him or know that he was there? Um, I don't like, know. Like, was he that trying to hide? He, maybe. I don't. I think he was just trying to make a statement. All right. Also, some people that made a statement that didn't really want to was Beyonce and Jay Z. Oh. At their reception, they actually played Kanye's remix of Drunken Love with Beyonce and Jay Z. They played that song. So, yes, Kanye danced to his own music at his <laughs> wedding. Why not? I love that. Um, but Beyonce and Jay Z were not there, as was rumored. But Beyonce did post this picture on Instagram, Instagram. congratulating them. She said, Wishing you a lifetime of unconditional love. So classy of her. Very sweet. Yeah. That she couldn't be there, but she was still a part of the day. Exactly. Yeah. And also someone that wasn't there was Rob Kardashian. I heard this. Mm -hmm. What happened? Flew out Friday night and didn't make it to the wedding. Reportedly, it was just because he wasn't feeling like himself. Other reports are saying he didn't want to take photos, but I honestly think it was a combination of both. Yeah, I feel like it was a hard week for him. He got so much flack for showing up, looking a little heavier than usual at the airport. And maybe that just set a bad tone for him, so he didn't want to go to the wedding. I feel like that's a very selfish move in my opinion this is your sister's wedding day you should absolutely be there even though you're not happy it should be all about her so I feel like it's a little selfish on Rob's part I agree with but, you you know I can understand that he felt uncomfortable yeah even though it was her third wedding true you should still be there Rob true. all right Aaron where do you think they went on their honeymoon um, somewhere lavish, somewhere exquisite. I don't know, they did France and Italy, like where else would you go? Well, they kept it in Europe, and this surprised me a little bit. They went over to Ireland. Oh, beautiful Yeah, place. so they're actually vacationing at a place just outside of Cork, and it's a very beautiful resort, but I was expecting them to like go to the beach on like some tropical island by themselves, secluded, nope. I feel like Kim is always doing something tropical. I feel like it's good for her to take like yeah. a, make a change and do something a little bit more historic, a little yeah, bit more I secluded. Think that's the Kanye influence again. I gotcha. Again. Very Kanye in my opinion. But you guys, we would love to know what you think of this huge, extravagant, lavish <sighs> third wedding for Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Speaking of the Kimye wedding, Justin Bieber is getting himself in the mix. Oh yeah, Bieber fever almost crashed Kim Kardashian's wedding day. Yes. But so a couple of weeks ago, Justin Bieber was at Cannes and he was interviewed by a, uh, a journalist and said to him, oh, I'll be in Italy in a couple weeks. Well, about 250 Italian believers put two and two together and assumed that Justin meant that he was going to be in Italy for Kim Kardashian's wedding. So 250 Pretty people, smart. teenagers, camped outside of Fort Belvedere, which of course where Kim got married. Right. And a couple of ambulances were out there just in case somebody got crazy. And yeah, they camped out waiting in anticipation all day to see Justin Bieber. But I bet Kim was thinking they were there for her. Um, I hope that's what she thought. I hope in her wonderful day she didn't think that Justin Bieber was trying to steal her spotlight. Or maybe she didn't notice at all. She was just busy getting hair and makeup done. She doesn't know who's outside. True, true. So far we haven't heard any reports of Justin Bieber actually being at Kim and Kanye's wedding. Although he was spotted in Monaco, so. This weekend. Yeah, this weekend. Well, I think he's there actually for the World Music Awards because those are filming tonight in Monaco. They're airing tomorrow night on TV though. Good point, because you were saying that Miley Cyrus is also there. Yeah, Monaco. Miley Cyrus is performing at the World Music Awards and so is Mariah Carey. It's going to be an awesome show. Yeah, so speaking of Monaco, Justin Bieber was spotted out on a yacht with Gigi Hadid, who um, is um, Cody Simpson's ex-girlfriend yeah. as of a couple of weeks ago. But what's interesting is in these photos that we've seen on Instagram, the two of them don't look like they're being like romantic in any way. They're no. just hanging out with friends. I feel like it's just like a friendly relationship. I don't think that they came together. I think they both just sort of happened to be there. Because like in this photo, Gigi has her arm around another guy. Right. They're not even close really. Right. And if Justin and Gigi both know it's good for them, they'll, I think, stay with just yeah. doesn't seem like a good mix to get in Drama. Yeah. So I don't think they were being flirty, but someone that Justin Bieber is definitely being flirty Ooh. with via Instagram is model Yovana Ventura. So Justin took to Instagram to post this photo gushing over Yovana saying, quote, I see you in that Dolce dress. Glad you had fun with a smiley face. Now this is the third time Yovana has made an appearance on Justin's yeah. Instagram in the last three weeks or so. And at first nobody was really talking about it because we're like, oh, it's just Justin hanging out with another model, which is what he does. Yeah. But there seems to be like a reoccurrence and he's definitely flirting in the same way that he flirted with Selena 
several months ago. Right, when he posted that Oscars dress photo of her. That exactly. is exactly what it reminded me of. And what's interesting is she kind of looks like Selena, albeit Selena is much more gorgeous in my yeah. opinion, but it definitely feels like he's trying to hurt Selena by posting yeah, this, I right? I think so too. And I think he bought her this dress, and I believe this is her accompanying him to the Amphar event in Con. No, this is her wearing it to prom. What? She that is not a prom dress. That is not appropriate. She's 18. At least if he is dating her, she's legal. But yeah, she was wearing this to prom. She had two outfit changes at prom. Well, it, um, ex excuse me? I know. Hello. <laughs> is this explicit. the Kimye wedding? And here's what's interesting is I went and looked at her Instagram and I'm a little disappointed. Like this girl looks like to me someone who is all about getting attention. All of her photos on Instagram are her selfieing with herself half naked in sports clothes. It's very bootylicious. Yeah, it's you very think she's sexual. A, she wants some fame. I feel like this is all about fame. And I feel like Justin isn't ready to settle down because he clearly just broke up with Selena. And I feel like he is posting this because he is, he's a player right now. He's dating. And he can because she's a model. She looks like Selena. Uh -huh. And that's one way that he can get back at Selena. Yeah. I don't really think this is helping you at all, Justin. <sighs> Speaking of sexy, guess what? It's turned up Tuesday time it is. right now. Well, in honor of Demi Lovato, she just made Maxim's Hot 100 list. She's at number Props, 40. Props, girl. Sexy. 40. Yes, and because all of you have been asking for this for weeks now, we hear you out there. We're doing a special Neon Lights edition of Turned Up Tuesday. Baby, when they look up. As always. As always. So keep commenting on what song you want us to dance to next Tuesday. Hit us up. Yeah, and let us know what did you guys think of the Kim Kardashian wedding? What was your favorite look? Do you think third time is a charm for this couple? We hope so. We really do. Thank you guys so much for watching the Daily Hollywood Rundown. It's daily every Monday through <laughs> Friday, as the title says. Erin and Misty coming at you. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for checking us out on the Daily Hollywood Rundown. Click that box right there for Friday's episode. And don't leave without subscribing, of course.